Hello everyone, my name is Adam Turnbull and I'm here to share a message with the world. Right now I pray in Jesus' name that the Holy Spirit and the Lord God will come down into me and help me to share this message. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. I'm sorry as I started praying, my phone went off. Um, I just want to make something clear as best as I can to anyone who cares enough to listen. Jesus is coming back, but like right now, um, we don't have time like we think we have time. Um, there is no easy way out the Lord has laid it heavy on my heart that I have to share this with people with anybody who's listening um, I'm going to try to put this on Facebook YouTube anywhere because if even one soul pays attention then that's what really matters and I myself confess that I've lived in the human flesh a very selfish life and I've also had a lot of my own trials and tribulations because of it but the Lord saved me the Lord is the one that was in charge the Lord is the one that has led me up out of that and the Lord is the one that I'm continuing to seek and desire because if I don't then I know where I'll end up I know where the soul behind this body will end up and I've seen it I've seen it and you know there's gonna be people who are gonna say oh well you're this and this and this well guess what I don't care don't care anymore because it's at a point now where the world needs to know about hell everyone needs to know about hell because the devil has everyone confused misled thinking it's a joke thinking it's just oh well it's just for this kind of people no it's for everybody. It's been made for the, Satan and his angels. But human beings can and are there. It's a horrible place. Absolutely terrifying. Absolutely terrifying. I went to bed one night. I had so much on my heart with the Lord. And... You think I was expecting to wake up there? No. I went to bed thinking, like always, you know, well, God got me and this is life and I'm still here. So, you know, he loves me enough to continue helping me to work and live this world. But the Lord was knocking on my heart. Like, no, Adam, we're out of time. Tell people. This isn't a joke anymore, and it's not just about you. This is about the, the, the children of God. I was brought to this earth for a purpose, but not for my purpose. Not for the things that I chased while I was in the world, while I was in the flesh, while I was unaware of my calling from the Lord, you know? All of those things are dead ends. Dead ends. Alcohol. Dead end. Marijuana. Dead end. Fornication. Premarital sex. Dead end. Lusting after women and, and money and cars and this and that. And oh, we turn up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a place in hell for people who just want to turn up. seen it the scariest thing about being in hell is knowing that you're not getting out I had hope while I was there because I knew the Lord and I felt that connection to God during that experience when I was in that blackness falling down into that pit I felt 
God's presence. I knew that this was an experience that was happening, but it was real. It was real. I, I, I screamed the name of Jesus. Screamed it. I'm talking about I screamed like a little girl. Yes. And I'll say that to this camera, to anyone who thinks that's a joke. Grown man, you cry like a little baby down there. I, I promise you, you will. You do. You don't want to go there. You don't want to go there. The worst things that you could ever imagine do not even compare this much. This much to what's in hell. And the devil got God's children thinking, oh, well, we'll be okay because as long as we just... No. 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 God is calling for his people to turn up for Christ. God is calling for his people to change. To turn from our ways. Not to look at him, excuse me, and be like, oh, well... Here's this thing that I'm doing wrong, but I got Jesus. No, you see, that's not repentance. Repentance is when you recognize it, you know that it's wrong, and then not only do you ask for forgiveness from Jesus, but you also ask for that desire to be taken from you. You, you, you want to turn from it. You want to look away from it. You can't say, oh, well, I love God and, and I love the Lord so much. And I'm not saying you're not going to mess up. But you can't say that you love the Lord and this and that and then have a cold heart to where you just want to intentionally do these certain things that you think, oh, well, I'll be forgiven for it. That's a sin. Scripture tells us to a man, if he knows to do good and does it not, to him it is sin. So each soul, we're all held accountable differently, separately. You know, what, what God holds me accountable to, it might not be the same thing he holds you accountable to. His word don't change for nobody. His word don't change for nobody. But accountability, it's a personal thing. You know who God made you to be. You know. You know what you're capable of. I know what I'm capable of. He knows what you're capable of. He knows what I'm capable of. He knows what she's capable of. Him, everybody's held differently. That's why that when they say you die alone, it is true. You, you, you do die alone. You stand before God, not your boyfriend, not your girlfriend, not your fiance, not your husband. Even it sounds kind of cold and bad, but you have to understand. I'm talking about soul wise. The soul is individual. You have to answer to God. You have to answer to Jesus. If they mess up, shame on them. If you mess up, shame on you. And I've seen hell. I've seen it. And you know what? I, I thoroughly believe in my heart that not only am I supposed to share this testimony and Continue to, to go into this, I guess, you know, wherever he leads me. But it means that I can still go. As crazy as that sounds, I, I, I know the Lord Jesus Christ. He's revealed himself to me. I've, I don't have to get into that. Trust me when I say I know the Lord. But if I don't stay on a, on a certain path, I have to answer for that. We all have to answer if we don't stay on a certain path. Yes, you're human, you're a human being. No, nobody is saying you're literally going to be perfect. But you are perfect. You're perfectly made by God. You can resist anything in the name of Jesus Christ. If you're concerned about this person or that person or what they might do or what they won't do or how you feel or this and that, then you're putting them before God. You're putting them before God. You're putting yourself before God. I'll share more. But for right now, 
I'm about to go on 10 minutes and I just want to make this exactly 10 that way it's not too much so anybody who's seen this just give your Lord to Christ give your Lord to, give your, give your life to the Lord to, to Christ Jesus and and I thank the Lord for this opportunity God bless